higher order components so higher order component components is nothing bad um, it just uh, it, it, this component going to wrap the normal function or class component so it will give additional information or uh, it will do uh, some validation for the child child components so let me show how to do that so for example here we have a function component and i'm jumping to the definition of function component here what i do i just do the bracket of that and here i'm opening the hoc higher order component uh, higher order component so this is another component still we are not uh, creating any kind of component i'm going to create that so this is the actual structure for the higher order component how to use so in general if you want to use function component then we can use the tag view right so uh, the lesser than symbol and the greater than symbol within the slash right uh, in this manner only we need to use function and class component but if you are if you want to use a um, higher order component then you can use like this so the you can wrap the particular child component into the higher order component this is one of the big higher order component so let me create higher order component here for you so hcc of cjs so here here we have the some sample higher order component thing you to click enter then it will start creating like this so i will explain you what is the default higher order component so which is nothing but so as usual we are importing react and here the props doesn't need so far i will explain you later what is prop type and how to validate the props and after that so here we are uh, export default as usual and here this is the parameter which we received from the which we received from here so we are going to use a higher order, higher order component for the higher order component input is function component so for that we need to do we need to import higher order component from let's just see right i just import the higher order component and here we go it's the higher order component definition so after that the higher order component will take the entire component as a entire component as a parameter right so in the higher associate.js file this that component called as a wrap component here it, it get the uh, it that this function component received as a property as our props uh, from this file and it will write us like a tag inside that we have the props and just send back we didn't we didn't do nothing here but this is a way to write a higher order component so how to do that for example uh, in the wrap component uh, i want to send my name right so for example uh, like name is equal to john right so i am going to copy this and along with the prop i am going to use name is equal to name name like this so uh, whenever you are you want to uh, you want to templating your variable at that time you need to do a curly brace within the curly braces you need to add the uh, add your variable you can't directly put uh, uh, if you you to type something like this then it won't help you this is called string uh, we are assigning some value directly to the name you want to do dynamic uh, variable assigning at that time you need to do like this at that time you can use john or uh, you can use any any kind of name later in the variable in order to disturb in the actual programming so what i do uh, in functional component doesn't have any any variable called name but in higher order component it have a uh, variable called john uh, sorry variable called name it will send us a prop so this is a uh, this is called prop we will see uh, in upcoming uh, slides uh, deep dive into prop how how to work prop what is prop everything i will explain you so just uh, understand the prop uh, understand the thing so this is called prop property name is name and i send the value uh, whatever available for the for this variable right and i say i go back here the higher order component it will send back the props and here we need to here we need to call the props and put in console called props and go back to the browser so still there is no uh, any update in the view but if you inspect go to the console um across the page and you can see props name name is equal to john 
right? So in the header component, if we change John into John Doe, save it and go back, it will return as John Doe. So which means, so if you want to, if you want to do some common operation, operation across the application at that time, you don't need to go and edit each and every component. So instead of that, you can create one own higher order component. You can do the uh, you can do the syntax, and after that, you if you want to send a uh, is logged in, right? Is logged in, and if you send true, then it will consider the user is logged in. If you send as false, at that time it will consider as a uh, user is logged uh, user is not logged in, right? So within this this kind of prop, you can write a condition. So here, if uh, or, or else uh, props dot is logged in. If that is true, then you can you can show this div tag. Else you can show user log. User logged out, or uh, user is not logged. So instead of props, we can directly receive this is logged in like this. So here you can see both the components using the uh, higher order component, right? So uh, if you are going to use props, then you need to use a constructor. Uh, I forgot about the constructor and all. So first of all, uh, this thing you know very well, and you are importing higher order component in both the places. And what you do in a functional component, you are you are using from here, or you can directly use const is equal to props. But anyhow, props should be here, right? So this is the way to receive the props in a function component. And in class component, we don't need to use any kind of uh, this thing. The props is already available within the component. You need to you need to use with the help of this operator, right? So this dot props is uh, defaultly available in the class component, but in the functional component, it's not available. You need to use, you need, you need to receive uh, through the uh, bracket, within the bracket, you need to receive the properties and within the props, you need to receive what are the properties received from the higher component or other components. So by this way only, you need to use the props, right? So in both the components, we are receiving the props and we are receiving the same variable is locked in, here also is locked in, and we are validating. So if that if that is is logged in, that is is logged in, we need to return true. And if it is false, then we need to print as false. Save it. Save it here. Go back to the browser. It should show false and again false. Right. So in the app somewhere. Yep. Remove this. You can see both are false. If you go back higher order component and you are sent back is dropped in as true, then save it, go back, both will be true. Well, because we are implementing this higher order component in class component as well as in the functional component. So we are receiving the same prop, we are implementing the same condition, same uh, conditional operator, and we are uh, printing the same thing. So by this way, it will uh, show here the same things. So by this way, you can uh, you can implement your higher order component uh, to any kind of components. 